Good morning friends and welcome back. Today I wanted to show you how I took this plastic kitty litter box and turned it into this still plastic kitty litter box and how I decoupaged it. It's actually quite simple and these instructions work on any plastic surface so if you don't have a cat or if you don't want to make a gift of one of these for someone who just got a cat, which is a really nice idea, you can still follow these steps on any plastic surface. So the very first thing that you want to do is take a spray paint that is designated specifically for plastic, or it has to say on the can, works on plastic, on metal, just make sure it's specifically for plastic. You cover the inside and the outside of the box. And you're not doing this to change the color, it's to get the decoupage medium to adhere. It will not stick to plastic, it will peel off, it will crack, it won't last. So you want to make sure you coat this with the right spray paint first. Now that this surface is completely dry, I'm going to take a few different napkins and just see how I like the pattern of each napkin. I'm taking the shorter napkins for this particular box. You may have a taller box that you'd like to work on. I actually put this high-end kitty litter box on my website if you want to go over and have a look at it. It just looks like everything I've been looking for and it's much taller. So use the napkin size based on what size kitty litter box you're working on. By the way, this is a brand new box. <laughs> I did not want to take the old box even after I bleach it when I clean it. <laughs> I didn't want to use that. Uh, and you may want to use a tiny pattern like this. You may want to work with, I'm going to work with my hydrangea napkins today. And I opened the napkins up and I tore them in half down the center. And I'm going to line this up with the other side of the napkin just to make sure it's one nice consistent pattern. And you may want to double check that on the napkin that you're working on also. You want to make sure you have your plastic wrap on hand also. And I then just dampened my fingers a tiny bit and separated the napkin so that I was only working with the top ply. I made sure I had enough of these to go all around the outside of the kitty litter box and I wanted one or two for the inside also. Now I wanted to show you I'm cutting out some of the flowers with my decoupage scissors. These are specifically used just for cutting these images out. Don't separate the napkins until after you're done cutting out all of your images. Now the reason I'm showing you this is if you have a pattern like this it is actually a lot easier to decoupage when you cut the images out separately. If you've got a pattern where you've either got something like paisley or a lace print or something that's just too intricate I'm going to be decoupaging these napkins in whole sections rather than cutting them out. For those of you who are using patterns that can't be cut out. But you do want to cut a few of these flowers out anyway and I'll show you why. I'm taking a flat paintbrush, my napkin decoupage glue, which makes life a lot easier, and I'm going to start around the corner and I'm really loading this up the brush pretty heavily with the decoupage glue and I'm going to apply it just to the one section where I'm applying the napkin. Now I am placing the napkin down. I'm in a little bit of a weird angle here so I can't do this as well as I would like to on the camera so you can see a little bit of wrinkling in here. But what I did was I applied the napkin, then I took a piece of my saran wrap, I placed it over the napkin, and you do want to overlap on the bottom there. There's a ridge down there. Now this is a chip brush. I'm sorry it's hard to see. I took a chip brush and I am going over the whole surface of the plastic, which is getting those wrinkles out. And now I pull this away, pull the saran wrap away, and my napkin looks like it's been painted on there. And now I'm going to go around the rest of the box and follow these same steps. And I'm lining up the edges here. You want to be kind of careful not to overlap just because it'll leave a much more intense image there. 
and we just like to make it as consistent as we can all around the box. I'm pulling the napkin a little bit. You want to be very gentle with this because it can tear very easily. Patting it down a little and then I'm just going to take the saran wrap again, place it over there and rub that down. Take my dry chip brush and smooth those wrinkles out. It's always best to work from the center outwards, by the way. I also decoupage two of the cutout images on the inside of the box. And we're not going to worry about filing this away until everything is dry. And before we let it dry, Remember those flowers that we cut out a little bit earlier, the images? I'm using this because when I went around the box, I noticed that there were a few mistakes. I might have, I don't know if I didn't line that up well. I think what I did was I put my finger on it and pulled some of it away. So I'm going to use this almost as a band-aid. I'm going to go right back over there and decoupage the napkin right over that spot. And so that I don't mess up the work that I've already done, I am taking a dry brush that I haven't used yet and I'm doing what's called the dry technique which means the box is it's almost dry right there and I'm just laying the napkin piece down I'm applying decoupage glue to my brush uh, pretty a lot of decoupage glue it's the napkin decoupage glue and I'm going to then place it right over the image and again it's best to start in the center and work your way out and this way the napkin won't tear, it won't bubble up, and you will be able to cover up any mistakes that you might have made. And since it's the first day of August and it's about 110 degrees, actually it's about 95, but <laughs> it feels like 110 to me anyway. I put this outside, it dried so fast, and what I'm doing is I'm just taking a nail file and I'm going along that natural ridge along the bottom of the kitty litter box and I'm just going to file away any of this excess that I have. And now that the box is dry, I am adding a coat of decoupage glue over the whole surface, inside and out, going over the whole box and I'm going to let this dry. Now this step is optional, but I took this onlay and I sell these on my website this is a flexible piece of I'm not sure what. I don't know if it's plastic or rubber or resin or what have you, but it's just an adorable bow. You can see that it's flexible, it bends, and I'm going to use some E6000 and glue it to the center of the box once it dries. Oh, and I did use that same white plastic spray paint to go over that piece of resin onlay. And I'm going to put it right here in the center. I'm using E6000 glue. The E6000 glue does not dry right away, so you may need to stand this up for it to work, but this will stick forever once it dries. And I will put a gem in the center there also using the E6000 glue. And I used a plastic butter knife to spread the glue all evenly across the back, it worked really well. And because it's so hot outside, this dried pretty quickly. And what I'm going to do is take my triple thick spray glaze, and I'm going to cover the whole outside of the box. And while it's wet, I am going to sprinkle this Martha Stewart coarse glitter all around everything, including that bow. And I'm going to do this before I add that one little gem, uh, glue that one little gem on right there. And one other thing I wanted to add, just for the inside of this box, I am spraying the inside with varathane, spar urethane, because it is waterproof. And I think that's pretty crucial for the inside of this box. So here are some shots of how this box looks now that it's done. There is the gem that I added to the front. Now I have this outside because I want you to see all of the fiery glitter that's on here. So I have it out in the sunlight and you can see that it is really sparkly. And you can see how our one cat is totally excited about this. The other one is mildly curious. 
And here's how the box looks from the front. I now have it down on the floor in the room where I'm going to keep it. And another great thing about this is you can coordinate it to the color of the room that you would like. And maybe you'll be the only one that sees it aside from your cats. But even if company sees it, so what? It's a beautiful little box. You've created it yourself. And some people who are cat lovers may even say, where did you get that litter box? And you might end up having to make one for a friend or two. And don't forget guys, Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. Thank you for all of your lovely comments and compliments. And thank you so much for subscribing. I have a link to my website right below this video where you can find the list of supplies that you need. And you may want to write those down. Click on any link and purchase whatever you want through my site that way. So you can read my blog post. I go into some extra detail on there. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful summer. I will see you, my friends, next week with another video. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.